Hello and welcome to race two of Truck NIS, 2023 Truck NIS held by Nick Nieben of Nieben 5, the Race channel that's, that you know, uh, probably know already if you're here. <laughs> um, first race, unfortunately, I didn't get to record it very well, um, so I apologize about that. You may have noticed it was a little bit different. Uh, if you did read the description on that one, uh, I did not have the recording, so I had to borrow someone else's replay of it. Thank you to Billy for that again. Um, so I had to uh, add the visuals to my audio because all I had was the audio. So uh, this time though, hopefully it's working just fine. We are going to be trying to qualify in. I think the first lap's going to be slower just because we weren't quite up to speed yet, but we're going to give it all we got anyway. Just because I don't want to, uh, you know, throw away lap one and then it turns out we don't, we hit the wall or something. So we're going to, that there. Try to keep it smooth. Three, four, one was my first lap. Pretty happy with that. Keep it low. Entering shallow works just fine. This thing doesn't have very much power. Exiting low. Two, seven, six. I'm happy with that. Getting into the twos, I'm gonna feel pretty good about. Oh, why did Gavin have to reconnect? Did you lose connection or something? I know there's some weather going on throughout the U.S. right now. Alright, so I think we are okay. We've got some guys beating us, but not by much. We're using the OSR setup for qualifying. There's, they had a Q set this week. And then using the race setup from OSR with a little bit extra tape. And that's what I'm going with. OSR seemed to have it pretty well figured out. I'm going to switch it over right away so I don't forget. Yeah, you're good, Ryan. 65. I had it at like 67, yep. 68, and it seemed okay, but I'm chickening out a little bit and removing and just a little bit more. I can't hear anyone else, but... Oh, yeah. Gavin lost connection, so... It's working, Ryan. Engine temperatures are okay. All clear on engine temperatures. So we are P7 right now? Okay. This race is going to look a lot like Daytona last week in a lot of ways. Pretty much super speedway racing, yeah, flat out in the trucks. You got loads of fuel. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Four twenty-four is the cutoff. Hey, Landon, can I get the race set up as well, please? Oh man, Billy, right now not in it. Oh man, that sucks. That's a really talented driver we're missing out on. I mean, we've got lots of talented drivers that are. Trying their best, but you know right, that's the exactly it. There for everyone, so have fun. Lots of talented drivers, not a lot of spots. No problem. Some guys we saw last week that are outside looking in. They will have a. Still oh no, that was it's quiet. different this week. The heat you do not use to get in. Okay. Hmm. Zero to the feature. So no heat races, that's only for super speedways, that's right. What else we got? So many people. We also we got to 62 again, completely full lobby, just like last time. Last time Gavin couldn't get in because of that. But uh, it didn't immediately happen. Oh man, Alex not in it, Nick King not in it. I was running only a 30.6 on uh oh man yeah like that's about as good as i can exactly what alex just said 30.6 is about as good as i can do on my race set <laughs> so it sounds like uh the bottom turn one class and kyle made it and uh sounds like daniel made it that's the gavin seventh position Oh, Gavin didn't make it. 
Oh no! Great stuff. Game crashed right as qualifying started, so I didn't even get to do my qualifying. Oh man, that tech. That is awful. Gavin, what continues? I cannot believe oh, that. Oh my god. He only got one I lap. I love it. Super fun. Imagine he gets a win and gets in the playoffs anyway. Oh my gosh, that sucks. That really sucks. He's got the worst hey, luck, yeah, man. Are you ready uh, for Sundays again? <laughs> And he misses it by one spot, too. Okay, there's a bunch of guys having connection issues. Hmm. I can't believe that. And you know, this, like like yeah, you saw I, with me, the well, second lap was faster, so he was on pace to do it. Degrees, either left or right. I had to close out of the sim and Shane barely made it. 35th. Reason. Daniel made it at 34th. Where did I end up officially here? 7th. So we made it in pretty fine. Nick's 18th. Look how tight this field is, though. We go from 30.2 to 30.4. That's how close it is. Two tenths of a second. Fine. More of a speed issue. It is not easy to make it into one of these races, especially right now. It's early in the season. P7. Track temp is 71. The air temp is 65. Track I can't temp. believe Gavin's luck, though, man. Yeah, I can hear you guys again. <laughs> Catch up so. to car number 87. One back, looking through Frank. Yeah, Rick, didn't make it. Out. Put there in the Discord. Remember seeing him a lot in the K5 for, season like, two. It wasn't, it wasn't great for qualifying. Man. I have a question. I think... Did I get that old? 26 people. Yes, sir. But... I should not have the first lap I ran, so that's kind of crazy. Like, I haven't ran any yet this week. <laughs> what's that? What are you running? Yeah, Sorry, ties what's on speed. I thought, what's that where you're running? Uh, not gonna lie, I just bought one out right before this. Dang, Ryan, that's not on the hold, buddy. Yeah, I've never got the hold before, so that's kind of cool. Hmm. How about that? Yeah, that's a hell of a lap, dude. I actually missed the bottom. I, I ran a 1 8. Like, uh, I think. Uh, so, and, I mean, it doesn't show practice on here, but I did run a 1 8, so. Hmm. Yeah, look at that, the 68 right here. Okay, he got a 1. Get ready. Probably some draft in there. Go, green, green, green. No, no, the Sorry, I guess I should be looking at the. Uh, I'm gonna go by right now. I'm just the grace. So they're yeah, gonna have a to ten laps. Yeah, Nick wanted to give them a little bit longer to uh, to race. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, you can't have time. Got a pretty big field here for the sprint. Twenty six, isn't it? Something like that. People didn't make it. Some people off the pace already. Something might have happened. Got three wide up there with McDonald's in the middle. Oh boy. A little bit scary. Oh, we got someone getting turned. They keep going the right direction though. I mean, we got some really fast people that just didn't make it. I mean, you got 3.6k, 3.3, Gavin's at a 4.2. I 
Unfortunately, this the setup is really important here for qualifying because all you're really doing is flat footing it and then trying to keep it as steady as possible. And some setups you just straight up can't do it, and uh, that's really a shame. It's very much like uh, Daytona qualifying was that uh, you just have to hit it just right. That's a good PSA. I'm glad I remember to do that with my race setup. So we're coming to the end of lap four here. That'll mean six to go, I believe. Got a three truck battle for the win. Of course, no transfers. But it's fun to have something to watch and give them something to do since they went out of their way to show up. And uh, they technically made it past the first heat, that being making it in the server at all. So I guess that's progress for Gavin, but I'm sure he'd rather actually be in the race. Billy looking high, maybe trying to get a run out of the corner. Set something up. I'm going to look to his inside here. Not quite. Might be waiting for his opportunity, but 54 is going for it, it looked like. Enters a little shallow, and now he's pushing up all the way into the 6 and wrecking him. That's unfortunate. And there goes a lot of the field. Looks like Raymond makes it through. See what they're saying about it. <laughs> if they're saying anything. Uh, two and a half truck battle going on because P3 is blinking ha here half the time. But it's Billy versus Gavin in the heat race. That'll conclude lap seven. We're going to have three to go. Also, a six minute time limit. I don't know if that's going to come into play here. It shouldn't, I don't think, right? Track times. Two minutes left. Yeah, they should be able to finish it up. You can see lots of damage trucks down there. More disappointment for them. That's so unfortunate. Didn't make the race, didn't finish the heat. Yeah, there was some prediction code on that for sure. The guy was pushing up, but uh, Prediction Code reached out and grabbed him before it was even going to actually happen. Billy's looking down low. Does he have the nose? It looks like it. So we're going to have side-by-side -side heading to the white flag and lap traffic. Billy hits the apron, though. I think Gavin might have lifted a little bit. Seeing that. Draft is going to make this battle interesting here. Final time through turn one. It might be hard for Gavin to get by him again. Or could we have a pin situation? Depending on where this lap truck is, Gavin got the inside. That's going to be the preferred place, I think. And he's going to have draft from the truck ahead. That should help him hold off Billy. He makes that last corner pass and will win the heat race. Billy coming in second and third place. Jeff, who I believe... Had some success dodging the big wreck. Well, there's your podium for the heat race. Well, that was doggone good there for a non qualifier race. Mm, yeah. Shout out to the double zero here. Christopher he went from 20th to 4th in 10 laps. That's right, quite luck, boys. the move. Yep, good luck. But uh, it's our turn now, and we're going to be going for a little bit longer than 10 laps. 134 here today with heats. Or not heats. Doi. I mean, yeah, we just had a heat race. But uh, stages. Uh, I, was, I explained this in my video last time, but I got cut off because of the circumstances. Two-minute warm-up. Interesting. Um... Track what was I saying? Five. Five. We're going to see how the tape is doing, just in case. 
uh, we have stages. So uh, those are lap 30 and lap 60. I made sure I was aware of when those were going to be. Um, I finished third place in every, at every junction of the Daytona race, race number one. Third place uh, in stage one, third stage two, and third overall. Love that coastal paint theme there, Jim. That's pretty cool. And that allowed me to actually leave Daytona with the points lead. So right now I am the points leader because of the points I gained during the stages. So they can be very important for sure. Yeah, they're right down the street for me. I actually got Nick in oh, front okay. of us here. Uh, I'm just gonna stay behind him and yeah, too bad, dude. test to see how the... hot my uh, truck's gonna get. So it should be just fine. Like I said, it was fine at about 67, 68% tape. I imagine it'll be more than fine at the 65 I have it at right now. But you never know with the changing conditions, with a bunch of trucks in front of you. Hey, I'll do it. Now Kind of stay behind people. <laughs> I was actually kind of looking off to my side and then... Uh... Got to, oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, I don't know if he said that in chat, but I wasn't paying attention. I don't know if he, he did say anything, but uh, that's fine. It's not like it was going to count if we ran into him or anything. So, getting on the grid. Just going to go ahead and put 66, I guess. Yeah, we'll do that. Sure, that's fine. 66, we'll be fine. One left to green. Line up on the inside. Closed. Pit road is closed. All right, seventh place starting spot. That's pretty solid. Not really much tire saving to do here. I'll probably lift off a little bit mid corner because I do expect this thing to actually get looser based on uh, what I've learned. Five sets of tires, that's pretty good. Tires for days. So I don't know if we're going to have to worry about that. Oh, there's a, a good luck message. The track temp is 65. The air temp is 64 Fahrenheit. You too. Follow car number 87 right. on the outside column. We're gonna have our temperatures up. Oh, someone lost connection. I hope that was that someone that made the race. It was. That was the person behind Man, us. I blinking, bud. It's me know. There's like some storms going through, so. Oh man. It's Same here. We're getting hit with about 20 centimeters of snow, so. Yeah, there's storms all over the U.S. right now, and it's causing all kinds of problems for people. There's a lot of people having internet problems tonight. I think I'm the yeah. only person. That ain't gotta worry about weather right now. Yeah, land is, well, yeah, land is in the Bahamas yeah, or something. That's normal. I'm in uh, South Carolina, James. Yeah. So much. Yeah, Missouri's not so bad. Um, you just can't have Gavin luck, I guess. That has nothing yeah, to do I'm with not, the weather. Uh, I'm like 30 minutes away from Florence. Here's two second gear start. Atlanta, Georgia, and Calhoun, Georgia. Hmm, uh, fuel's gonna be interesting. Yeah, y'all have to uh, uh, get green. And I have to pit twice, most likely. Yeah, last year, I was on the bottom part of it, so it wasn't too bad. That's a okay, right. car, he's off. Oh, be ready. Yeah. Good. good luck, man. Yeah, we green, 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 green. And we're off. Car outside. Outside, you're clear. Outside. Still there. Back is cool and grippy. Stay low. There is a car on the high Very side. cold in Vegas right now. Oddly enough. Cold in the desert. Still 
Ooh, a little bit loose. I hate to call it. Oh man, reckon three. I lifted. Apparently, I shouldn't have. Trying to save fuel. That's really unfortunate. Is there any stopped cars or what? Yeah, those are not going to spin out the cars backwards. Hmm. Oh, okay, I'm surprised that wasn't uh, automatic. So, Nick, uh, the, overrules. The has been weird here this week. Overrules iRacing's officiating that's and throws a caution where he felt necessary. So. Ideally, yeah, we're dividing this race by 45 laps, 45, 90, 135, um, and of course we have 134. Yeah, I had one wreck in my uh, road to pro race where the caution came out really late. Hey, Adam, I'm going to pull up the side of you. Can you check my right rear for me? Hmm. Me? Looks good. I uh, you got a little sheet metal sheet damage, metal damage um, but the tires up. Okay. Yeah, he bounced off the wall and got me in the right rear. So this will yeah, push back our first pit stop just a bit, I think. Also, be careful with damage. For whatever reason, this car is very fragile and it can't take a lot of damage. Yeah, any error. By any I wonder little what happened back there. I assume someone might have gotten loose. It's very easy to do. I would think it's really a little more or less. P6, we've fire moved fire ahead one spot. I'm just going to be aggressive tonight. Uh, I just I don't That's think tires are going to be too Gregory much of a concern. So does everybody else, and then you end up racing for 10th, uh, five laps down. <laughs> All right. Well, I had a level sec if I got it fixed. Maybe it ain't messed me up too bad. Save as much fuel as we can. Never know if it's going to come in handy. Long race. 134 laps. Trying to think about how I can be smart about getting good stage finishes as well. I might want to undercut pretty hard. So that way when things cycle out, I'm in the front getting caught when right. lap 60 hits and the stage comes to an end. So maybe I still will try to pit around 45 even with this caution. Do a little bit of an undercut. Definitely want to make it to 45. Just so we can divide it up evenly. Aside from that, I might do that. Okay. Truck feels hey, good, though. How does the uh, setup feel? I like it. It's stable. <laughs> a little loose in the beginning, but you know, as, it, as it's left go on, I went in practice a little bit before we started. But it sits solid. We got Ryan up in first still. Again. Chuck in third. I'm sure we'll be seeing him all season near the front. Scott as well is up here. Back, remember Alex Aziz? Alex, just so you know, he's up front a lot at Daytona. Cabe, last, uh, <laughs> last race is winner. He's in P12 right now. Yeah, just uh, shared at the practice. Is it the one that I dropped in the Discord and you just made some changes to? Uh, no, the setup I'm running, uh, Colton shared it to me. It was an OSR set that he was running, and he uh, shared it to me. And the race setup, I just made a few changes with the tape and the uh, bars. I don't think I gave the brake controls too bad. I got to stump and try to find any more speed out of it. These things are, they're interesting. Oh, wait, the setup you posted in uh, Discord? 
Yeah, that one I gave to Rick. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, I write, I write that in the uh, road report right last night. Yeah. Um, it felt pretty good, but I ain't running. I'm running something else different right now. But... Yeah, All right. Hopefully, we have ourselves another good speed. start. Hopefully, we can go a little longer this time. Yeah, the setup did feel pretty good though um, last night. I had I did make a little, few adjustments to it, but it wasn't like nothing crazy. Got some fuel saved. Don't know if we'll use it or not, but we'll have it. Come well, on, everybody likes stuff different. You're gonna get it. You're gonna Never know if we we'll get another caution, and maybe we want to try to make it on fuel yeah, lap sixty or something. Uh, the setup, though. You know. Never know what's gonna happen. Second gear again is going to be just fine. Your first gear on our inside, though. The pace car is in. Had to lift. Outside lane did not get a very good start. Inside, you're in fifth. Sorry about the start. Stay high. Got behind had an even worse start, though. There's a lift right there. We'll leave space. Not really necessary to be too crazy right now. Black flags, interestingly. Not sure what happened. What would cause those? A movement up there this early in the race. Oh, it looks like some connection movement too. From the leader. Nand and I doing a slight lift, so if you're not surprised, must have stopped. The leader was just on a 20.7. Car in front is just on a 20.7. The guy behind is just on a 20.7. A little bit tighter uh, when we got some trucks in front of us. Creating some dirty air. And this, uh, that's Scott. Right on the guy's bumper ahead. I'm trying to leave some space because I know being right behind someone is uh, a good way to get them arrow loose. Who can make it to lap 60? That would be very interesting. Still there. Keep right. Clear up top. Car outside. Oh, guy on the apron rough from up front. Must have just prediction code making it look that way. Outside, clear. Oh my gosh, what was that? Just came and turned down into a guy. It's Chuck. Sorry, Mike, I, I just thought he was gonna stick on the wall there. Now God. We are lifting so much. Clear out God if you want to see. All kinds of momentum here. I don't like some of what I'm seeing up here. Yeah, unfortunately, it's too much. Stay low. Stay low. Still there, hold your line. I don't want to get stuck behind this guy. He's going real slow all of a sudden, but it's fine. We got lots of time. Stay low. Yeah, outside, clear. So we can uh, go ahead and 
<sighs> wait a little bit. Wait up to the top. Oh my gosh. Guys are being a little dangerous, aren't they? It sure looks that way. Going around the outside here. It's feeling held up a little bit. The chiefs is whining about the <laughs> temperatures, but they're still fine. You can go all the way to the 260s on water temp. I guess the oil temp is a little high. Less familiar with how high that can go. But we should be okay. Be able to breathe it. It continues climbing. Wanted to cut down below him there, but he protected the bottom. Or that's just the line he wanted to run, which is fair. Get to his inside here. Keeping an eye on that lap counter, because you know we got a stage end coming up on lap 30. We're over here halfway there already. It'll take some time. To move. 32 estimated laps. Would not bring us to lap 60. This guy is a little bit off pace down on the low side. We have to go around his high side probably. Alright, we'll do this. Yeah, that's good. That's P5. Get back in just Feeling okay. So much weaving around. And some lifting. Good rotation out of the corner still. Got you, friends. Got them tight. Dicing it up. Oh my gosh, what is this? Why are we weaving so much? Just keep it steady. <laughs> Don't drift up into me. I'm watching you. <laughs>
Okay, I'm getting tight. Let's use apron. Wow, is that a slide job? That's rude. Didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. Lap 25. Sorry. Sorry. This is how I feel. That was really risky for not much gain. We don't have to be first place. Just gotta be up here in the points, stage points. Or I'd like to be anyway. <laughs> right now we're in it, P4. Okay, that was a blink. Oh my gosh, that's really bad. His uh, internet's being carried by the wind. This is line six to six to six in the one on nine and seven. I'm not feeling tight. I'm feeling pretty good. I think the lifts are really working out for me. He had a really bad corner. I don't even know what happened there, but it was not good for him. Start getting a little loose, maybe chasing it up. All right, this is the this is the lap right here. This is the one that's going to award points at the end of this lap. Not quite there in Chuck, that's fine. P3. Again. <laughs> Every stage in so far has I've been P3. Back off a little bit now. Finished third place at the end of every stage. Whoa! That was a moment. So we're gonna come in lap 45. No, we're gonna come in lap 44. 44, we're gonna come in. Bit of an undercut. Big loose, big loose right there. Got quite a gap behind us uh, after the 16. I might be okay with taking that. Don't need to uh, be sliding around anymore. Okay. So it was Cave that got the stage win to back up his Daytona win. So he's putting himself in a really good spot. So
This truck's getting loose, though. Much prefer loose than tight, I will say, so that's good. I'm happy with that. Kind of trying to figure out a good way to, to drive this right now, the way it's feeling. I like this gap behind us, that's that's good. We get to stay in this draft. fun to drive though really like how uh, how little grip we have I'm taking no four any that's way early for me and we do have some games trying to get those stage points people are willing to go to bigger lengths than I am Unless he's got something uh, else he's got going on back there. I'm going to go ahead and add a percent of tape. I'm feeling more comfortable now. Oil temp is getting a little higher, but not concerningly so. 1% tape won't hurt it. Won't help much either, but... Hey, if we lose to a photo finish and I didn't put a percent on tape on there, it's going gonna, it's gonna to itch my brain a while. <laughs> interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, we might have to get past Kevin here. Looks like he's having some handling issues. Potentially. just getting a little bit too far away up there. I honestly wish I had noticed a little sooner. Got the 71 of Nathan back there on fresh tires. Is he going to take the high side or? Car outside. Get back in pit. Stay low. That's 1.5. Still there. He uses draft. Coming up on lap 44 when I plan to pit. Oh wow, this thing's getting loose. Maybe I should run a higher line now. It's because of how loose it gets down low. Interesting how things have started to spread out now after the stage in. Fifth place though, feeling good. And we got ourselves a P3 stage finish to start off the night.
Coming in not this lap, but the next one. I kind of hope I don't have to say it. I don't want to give away my strategy if I don't have to. Got about a second behind, I better say something. Not getting uh, run into the back of by somebody is a good strategy as well. Okay, don't pick it up. Pitting in. Shane, I'm pitting. Oh, uh, really soft in. I was a little too cautious. That bothers me a little bit. I'm pitting in, I'm pitting in. Right here. So I'm almost afraid I was too far back. 67-60. Bidding. All right, Colton. Your engine temperatures are okay. All clear from engine temperatures. I always like sharing those. We're done. Get going. I'm pitting this time, Alan. Just stay high. I recommend you this time. Uh, if you want to pit with me, we're going to wrap and kind of pull Simple, 75 pit. I'm pitting this lap, Tyler. Moody, ahead, he's pitting. You can stay on the low side, hopefully be able to file in somewhere. Clear outside if you want to. Graham, he's leading the race. Jim is pitting in. Gotta watch out. Whoa, okay. <laughs> that was scary. Remember, I might be a little loose on these cold tires. I'm going to go a little bit hard right now because I want to get stage points by lap 60. Hitting in here. Stand high, he is. Oh, some dangerous situations going on up here. There are essentially your leaders. Oh no. Sorry, Kyle. Sorry. I was trying to get out, but I wasn't. I don't think it was clear on. Me. I kept in it a little bit longer because I didn't think it was going to be caution, but they run Kyle over. It looks like. It looks like Lewis. He did that. Caution. Pits are closed. Oh, Scott, it's time to let you by. That was just dumb. If you can. They screwed themselves over by wrecking somebody like that. Maybe it didn't happen how I thought it did, but I assume I'm a lap down. Maybe not. Your engine temperatures are now back to normal. Nice. Oh, so we are not a lap down. Heck yeah. Okay, I was wondering if that. I'm, I think I probably got you loose with air as soon as you started coming around. But I was close enough where it probably did get you loose, so it was it was more on me. So sorry again. You'll have to talk to him in text chat if you want to. Let them pass on the outside. So this should work out where we all get the wave around, right? What does it trust for that? 
Yeah, James, 1180. Yeah, we'll get the waiver out. There's no way they can't pit. Yeah, they have to pit because there ain't enough fuel. Yeah, yeah, I just wanted to make sure, Shane, that like you and I and everybody else in front of us weren't in that like weird select group where there was one guy that pit and is still in the lead lap. Shouldn't be. He'd had to be a fast dude. <laughs> yeah, no yeah, shit, right? Yeah, right? If it was a while yeah, after the pit cycle, I'd be worried. If it was right in the middle of the pit cycle, we should be good. By the way, I just missed you when you pit. I so that's apparently what happened. Just got him arrow loose, didn't run him over. Yeah, I'm sorry for the heart attack. I probably a big push of air right behind tires, right so behind him when he was already like probably losing grip. Longer run. I saw it happening and I was ready for it, but man, I'm just I'm just glad it worked out. It's all good. I didn't pit, yeah, I mean we I just came out of the sure pits. Me. I'm sorry for the heart attack there. Around, correct? Didn't really seem necessary. Yeah, my right front on that uh, pit stop was 41%. Yeah, mine was 50. Hey, I was 71.62 on the right side. Pit road is closed. Pace car is out. Yeah, it was 68.61. Yeah, I'm trying to drive in kind of hard. My right front was 31. 67.62. Interesting. Maybe the fast that ain't so good on the right front. <laughs> that was 73-73. Hey, that's the set I want. 70? God damn. I was 65-66. When I was going, but I'm like, damn, 70? Yeah, I want his set. My right rear was on fire. Oh boy, Zach. Forty five eighty five. A little too far. That looks like me uh, in the A open race I did recently. Yeah, okay, mine was at forty one, so mine was worse. So mine was even worse than that. Daniel, you got right up behind me and then I saw you had a really good moment out of four and I was like, Oh yeah, there goes this right rear. So we got lots of wave yeah, around guys. I'm actually uh, very, very we'll lucky that I'm not one of them. We are P2. If whoever's right front is worse, or a lot worse, like 10%, 5%, just come in and work to go. Nick and I'll be on the outside. Get ready to pace and consume at the end of this lap. Which way do you go with it? Nine miles. Are we, uh, are we going? <laughs> the temp will also show it too. I mean, obviously, that was 35 foot talk and stuff, but like. If your right front like 20 degrees hotter, it's definitely better than obviously percentage, but you can kind of tell how it's happening. All right, P2. I right really like that to cycle out, but my right rear. okay. My right rear was 86. It wasn't too bad. Apparently, my car's driving off the right front too much. 86 degrees. What's the air temp right now? Second gear start no, is what we're going to go with. Like, uh, percentage worn, 86% wore out. I was about to say, I was talking about temperature, and then I heard 86. <laughs> Dang. What's the, uh, what's the end of the air temp? I didn't get a good start. Right Hard to see, though. Single monitor. 63. I don't have it on one of my overloads. Yeah, you went up on tape, so 63 is good. Alright, decent enough. I've got arrow damage, go by me on the bottom. Some people with damage back there. Yeah, they'll loosen it up, so I go up or down on the right rear. Freaking draft, I guess. I guess it is pretty close. Glad he cleared it. The stage break makes sense. Fighting hard. Still there. Hold your line. Stay high. Still there. Hold your line.
Try to hold on to whatever we can. Hey boys, a lot of laps to go. He's up. Still there, hold your line. Well, no, I'm pretty good on this outside lane. Tires aren't that old, so it shouldn't be too hard. I should even out here in a moment. At least get pretty close to it. Got that little extra bit of tape on there. It's doing just fine. Yeah. Can we clear him? It'll help us out a lot. I thought about it. The car outside. Go low. You're back in second. Up time was. Which point is Still there. Outside, clear. Scott, what happened to you, Nick? Still there. Putting his nose down there. Hmm. Is that stage? Is that half the stage or how does it score? Outside lane not working. White flag or all the way. Are you kidding me? I didn't realize that was Nick. Oh, he got me. <laughs> there ends my uh, third place streak. That's pretty much at the end of stage two. Now we go to the end. Man, I finished third place at the end of every stage so far, and then Nick just photo finished me for third right there and broke my streak. Your engine temperatures are looking better. Pit road's open. Pits are open. <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry. Which way did you say to go to the right rear spring? Well, I feel like I'm on a Sunday drive here mid back. Probably where I'll finish. Yeah, it's fine. Honestly, same. If you want to go up with the right rear, I'm trying to get my car freed up as much as I possibly can. It just he will not do it. Look out for the pit speed limit. The leader is pitting now. You go up on the right rear to get it freed up. Is that right? I'm going clear. Hey, we're pitting right after right Nick, so we want to be on this right lane. Right make it loose. In. In. Okay, down on the right rear to get loose, right? Five. Three. Down on the perch Two. raises the right rear, One. which makes it loose. Right here. Okay, 98, 96, tires were not bad at all, but get a fresh set here in case we get a long run, get some fuel in it. Good stuff. That did go. We'll beat Nick out, however. Damn it, Dave. 62 must have taken two tires. 97.9. So we're going to divide this last uh, stint in half. Let me do some math real quick. 38 laps to 100. And 
68, 72, open. 72, 76, 76. So coming in about like 98, I think is the plan. But factor in caution laps, 99, 100. Come in lap 100. What kind of tape percentages are people running? Fifty-five for me. Fifty-five. Sixty-five. Yeah, I'm at sixty-seven too. I just went up to sixty-five. Okay, yeah, I was on sixty-four. That sixty-two is gonna be really time. loose yeah, on rough. right sides, assuming that's what he took. Dang, he's been on sixty-seven. Hooray. It's only for the temperatures of the tires being different, maybe. No, I started on sixty-five, but I bumped it up to sixty-seven on the first uh, pit stop there. Yeah, that's six. It sounds like Kyle was in that uh, one again. An eighth of an inch on the left rear to kind of tighten up exit. And P4. I'm at 67 on the tape, mostly because my buddy Doug's spotting, and he's turning 57 today because it's his birthday. So. Yes, I'm feeling pretty good about being 67. 67. Seems like a lot of people are. Yeah, I've been at 68 the whole race. Yeah, maybe I got to go up that. I was at 70 and rode to pro, but I was always seems like to find his like way to the front for these uh, road stage road two and it got points red, awarding. And I had to manage it for like breaks. five laps, and then it was okay. So 70 kind of deep ish in the pack. We're going to the end now, though. So we're going to have to be thinking about one or lap 134. Nice. Sounds good. Some more tape. Does that tighten it up or loosen it up? Uh, nothing. Just makes you go faster, pretty much. Yeah, I think One it just gives go. you down for us. If I understand. Outside. Okay, Colton, get ready. Race the regime at the end of this lap. I guess loosens you. <laughs> Barely. Yeah, it's got to be something, but I would I would assume loosen as well on exit or something. Better turn. It'd be a tiny bit of more, well, a tiny bit more loose because you're adding down for us. By lap 100, we'll come in. Easy to remember. Yeah, that was my fault. Okay. Good info, guys. Appreciate it. I found that for every, if you have a nice balance truck already, for every two clicks of tape that you put on, that you want to tighten it up with one click in the spring adjustment. Interesting. That might be why I'm so hard on the right rear, but I like that it that way. That because mine started at 69, the set I got, and then I changed it down and I got a little tight, so. Yeah, if you take All right, uh, we'll get a nice good view of the leader from here at least. Tight, so you need to lose Very nice view of a cool red. paint scheme too. Looking like Steve Park out here. And that's right rear screen. Oh, go green. Oh, no. Stay Be ready. Righty tighty, lefty loosey on the right spring and opposite on the left spring for right, accurate. Okay, very good. He's right behind you, there are going outside. Back going. Let's have the green to the end, that'd be great. 62 is going to be a little off pace, perhaps. Gotta be careful and keep an eye on him though, because I know he's got those two tires. Potentially, unless he just had a really good stop. Still there, hold your line. Clear inside. I'm just gonna ride. I'm not trying to pass these guys right now. I think we could work together and maybe even get a gap. No more stages to worry about anymore. Trying to be good on the tires. Try to be kind of fast. Lots of little lifts. 
Hopefully they add up. Hold on, Jim. I wish we weren't side by side. I'd really like to be, uh, be really cool to get some distance on the field right now. Giving much room up there. Right on his bumper. In the water temperature should be just fine. Got a second back to fifth place, point three to fourth. Ah, uh, Nick's dad unfortunately got uh, damage, I assume. It's already on our relative. Oh, Landon is in that. Well, that's not accurate. Fuel no, calculator doesn't work in these league races, unfortunately. You can make it, what, about 45 laps? We still can't make it. Uh, yeah. Oh. Three sets of tires still. Hmm. Tires here? I'm not. Too early. Don't need tires that bad. Nick decided he would, and a lot of people followed him, though. Interesting. Got the lucky dog. Let them past on the outside. Not gonna be make it, be able to make it on fuel, so I'm not quite interested yet. Only 10 laps on the tires, and tires don't wear that much anyway. You had the position when the yellow flag came out. 93.7 gallons. I don't know why I keep hitting that. turn out like Daytona for me. Sorry, what was that? No, I remember Daytona, we stayed out, and then when we caught back the field final, I got caught up in the big one, and then you made it through. I was just saying, hopefully it doesn't end up like that for me again. Oh yeah, I just, I hadn't realized the parallels, that's kind of funny. I hope it does go better for you. Yeah, he's exactly yeah, the guy. Even if I finish behind you, I'm all good with that. <laughs> I think we should be okay, it, was, it wasn't a very long run there, and tires don't fall off all that crazy, I don't think, here, so. I mean, mine was like 69.75 after the last run, and we were going kind of hard in the front, so. Mm, yeah. Matarker 99.99. Yeah, yeah, that's what I figured it would look like. Yeah, but with like 60 laps to go, it's like then, you know, if I got two sets left, left, it's good to take them, I think. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. If it goes green through here, we'll. 
Yeah, one, one fuel stop with a set of right sides like Nick would do, and we're all, we're all going to be good, right? Interesting. All of it now to get fuel really heavy, so we'll see what it would be. I was pretty sure we couldn't make it. Uh, one of those added to the calculator. So it, it, Seven. It's pretty I close. Put up my fuel calculator, bang over there. Mm -hmm. Mine never works in these league races for some reason. I topped off because if we have to get a pit under caution, less fuel, we'll under caution. it's closed. And get That's you out a, a little point. bit quicker if you take two tires. That's a good point. See, I didn't I even did. think of that, but that's a good idea too. Do you use race lines, Yeah, I do. Oh, interesting. Mine works. I don't know. When I ask it how much fuel I need right now, it tells me like 92 gallons or something like that. One to go. Next time by, you'll be lining up on the inside. Are you talking about crew chief or the race by by? Oh, sorry. Yeah, no. I, crew chief. I have both, actually, so that's why I got confused. Is he telling you gallons or liters? Gallons. I think your crew chief's smoking crack. Yeah, or he works for the, uh, you know, Sunoco or something. Trying to sell me a bunch of fuel. Don't look at my car cold. <laughs> so you're behind it, huh? <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to, but I want to win. <laughs> I guess I didn't mean to. That's funny. Just admit it, Colton. You got that extra tank in the bed of the truck. <laughs> that and my pet monkey. <laughs> Get ready. Going green. One of these things, uh, idle at. 11, All right, focus time. Enough joking around. Great, I'm down on power. Ice car is off. Be ready. Bit of a rolling start in there. It felt like he was slowing or slowly moving up to speed. Car outside. Still there. Get to the inside of P2. Distance from the guys at pit will be nice. Getting that draft on the outside, though. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh, yeah, he was in front of me, huh? We're under caution. Pits are closed. Now, uh, I'm wondering about this fuel situation. We were running in the green too long, but now this feels like a truck series. Yeah, it's gonna turn into a road to pro right now. Of course, yellow, pits are open. This is how mine went. I mean, we're only slightly over halfway, so. Mm, no, that can't be right. The fuel, I mean, we only yeah, make it like 50 laps. I'm lifting in the corner still. Yeah, it's going to be shit. And I came down on the guy and he cooked my rear end. No reason to pit now. I'm not going to be able to make it, I don't think. I just can't, I can't trust any of what these calculators are saying. We know from the beginning of the race we can make it, what, like... 46 laps. Something so like that. Such a good advantage on yeah, these here. Got the lucky dog. Let them pass on the outside. It's so much. Like, it is easier this, but with the actual restart zone, it's so much worse. Like, in official races, they have that. Yeah. Yeah, it's so much worse. Like, in official races, they have that. My mom just threw a crunch bar at me. <laughs> well, that pretty big rig that just happened or no? 
All they must work trucks. Left on 94. Carbide. You had the position when the yellow flag came out. Trucks are my favorite one to race on the sim. I mean, they're, they're fun, fun, but the damage model needs to be fixed on me, though. Yeah. You get a, a rock hit you in the windshield, then it'll kill you. Personally, I mean, I don't mind the new cup cars, and I'm kind of starting to like Xfinity a little bit more, but these ain't my personal favorites. Maybe on short track, but not on these. So if we can make it 45... <laughs> fun because they're competitive kind of no matter what five but you really don't got to drive them that's kind of why i don't like them for road to pro it's 30 but the xfinity and the like, cup those are fun and you can get a little bit of damage and you're still good i know cup trying to do math right now road 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 road. Caution. Pits are closed. the road pro really should be the xfinity car i don't know why it's drugs that kind of don't make sense to me but i think it yeah i think fuel window opens about 89 Looks like, like because that's what, like, that would be good to know. Going into the, cup car. the truck, it's just kind of you don't really have to drive if I don't like it. Very bogged down as well. Well, it's like if it was Daytona, Vegas, which is like was set up pretty much a super speedway, Atlanta, and then like Texas, which is and this is a track, strategy is going to get weird. What's the point of it? You're trying to get the best drivers, but then put three to the speed there. Personally, mild tracks and below makes the truck series good. Okay. Oh, it's the fact that it's a brick. Coming to one of the Brick really fast. If we can get another good start. I thought we were ahead of the nine, but I'm kind of glad we're not, because... I missed the old cup car. I wish they like would start add, on the inside. add a 95 cup car and add a 2005 cup car. It's not like the other car. Or give the other car much power or something, but like early 2000s cup car. Like do a vintage or like do a super bird or something. One left to green. You'll be lining up. You got 87, 90, 90 2000, and 70. Yes. Maybe we can get the Model T on here too. We can do some 1800s racing. <laughs> nah, I hope that one day I'd like the Gen 4 NASCAR Cup car as well. Someday. That would be so much fun. It's obviously Seems like a I'm huge part of NASCAR's history. One it's one of, it's <laughs> probably one of NASCAR's most popular. Yeah, it only takes two of us to cover the field. Nick got the front, I got the back. It'd be a lot of fun to drive. Yeah, I ain't going nowhere. They might not add it just because no one would race anything else anymore. <laughs> if they I added it, though. really good, and then somebody two cars ahead of me just dumped it unexpectedly, and boom, they were in my face. So now I'm not going anywhere either. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've really never been. I've not been good the whole race. I mean, I wore out my right front on the first pit stop. I was 77, 77 at the end of that long run. I was really looking forward to the long run. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah that's was great. Be ready. Out. Yeah, pretty bad. Now I'm down on power. Green, green, green. Let's go. Not quite as good of a jump that time. Outside. Still get to the inside of the nine. Still there, hold your line. Swami, you're blinking fast. Go low. Pass me high, pass me high. Guys are going to be pretty cool, going to be ready for that. Clear up top. Outside, need your back in section. Clear outside if you want to. I'm okay just getting some distance. I'm not trying to pass him right now.
What is happening? That was an incredible save, and then they somehow still wrecked on the front stretch. Wrecking again? I'm surprised it was now yellow. Yeah, that should have been yellow, but wow. Slow down, Stop wrecking, huh? <laughs> Please? Twenty you both are pretty bad. I'm just trying to be fast. I'm not trying to waste time. Side by side, it's not going to be fast. Let's remember where we are. We're in second place. I need to bring those guys uh, behind us to us, because we're already in second place. I think Ryan kind of gets the vibe going on right here. I think he thinks that we're still trying to pass. It's fine though, if that's what he wants, that's what he wants. It's like a low rider if you got a bounce from the third. Just gonna pit when he pits, I think. He likes taking the apron. I guess it does give you a little bit of time, maybe, but. Lazy. I don't want to do it. <laughs> okay, Walter, that's good consistency. Keep it up. Your water temperature's creeping up. We'll have to watch that water temperature, I guess. If we're going to be riding right behind him. Right yeah, now, I'll go high. It's a car rejoining in front. But I've got damage to but I don't know how much faster I'll be. I'm in lap, uh, I don't know, 102. <laughs> Why do you blink it really bad? Sounds fine, I guess. I'd like to pit whenever a uh, guy ahead does, though, stay in his draft. Or have him as a draft partner still. Just trying to play it smart. No reason to be dangerous. There's lots of laps to lock off still. I can't trust my spotter with him below me. He's telling me I'm clear. I don't think that's helping him. I think that's making him slower. Is that a little bit apron? Looks like he's close. Maybe not. Good stuff, though. Logging laps. It's exactly what we need to do. Ryan still wants the spot. Oh, Kyle just dropped out. Man, he was having a rough race too already. And 
We don't have a huge gap, I don't think. I think actually I saw a 3.1 behind P5, so top 5 is broken away, I guess. Is he gonna lose up there? Is that what I'm seeing? Staying high would have been better, but zero. Stay in low, stay in low. Okay. Shout out to your dad, by the way, Yana, if you watched my video where he commented. He was like, I was hoping Landon would make it. Ah, uh, yeah. Nick says lappers to the wall. Stay in low, stay in low. Nick just said lappers to the wall. Inside. Yeah, he was like a foot away from us though. That was gonna be a dangerous maneuver. See if uh, we find out when he's gonna pit at any point ahead. That was close, there, Shay. We're actually getting some distance behind us. Yeah, That's cool. I'm sorry, Daniel. I was uh, landing with low, so I was going up high and getting in line. No, that's all right. Just made me poop myself a little. I'm staying low, staying low. Still staying low. No, he didn't. Wasn't supposed to. Not sure why Cave went up high there. Maybe missed the corner looking at the message. Brandon, what lap do you want to sit on? Uh, hope that's not going to be a huge thing, that decision uh, right there. I mean, I've got 24. Oh, that sucks. The end, so. 20, 24 laps on out. I do it. <laughs> his dad, he just black flag his own dad. Uh, I think, uh. So, I think, Brandon, I'll follow you. you duck in. You I don't know. Flag. Feeding in the pit. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Yeah, Brandon, I think I'll follow you in and I'll get us about 10 to go. Yeah, 10 4. It's getting a little weird. I'm just gonna ride here, that's all. Now gone. A pit whenever everyone else around me pits. I'm gonna pit this lap. Yeah, you're going to be pitting in this lap.
Watch your speed limit in the pit. Okay. We need to stop again to get to the end. Pit box team, 10. On the green flag, I think we got to take right sides. Five, three, two, one. Right here. 96, 96 on the left. That should be fine. But we're going to have to be careful. Okay, go. Take care, there's a car approaching. Gotta be very careful on these tires. We're clapping in. We're clapping in. Cape's coming in. Okay. Well, we'll be able to catch up to this little group ahead and get some draft. I don't know, Jim, you wanna go and hit me? The lead is fitting now. Oh boy. Time to drive. I'd say go along and hope for yellow. Okay, Colton, as a car exits in the pits, heads up. That's an option. Right, Not I the option I chose. Let's do it. P15. I got 21 laps left. We're in a lucky dog position. Let's put yeah, I'm to keep in uh, round lap 120 for me. I got a little bit less fuel than you. Right, bit I'll too much fuel in, that's okay. Like we have a, we oh my gosh, this thing's trying to kill me, but I, uh, I love it now. <laughs> We're fine. Should be just fine. Okay, let's go. Should be just fine. Really I'm interested to see how this cycles out. You have some kind of arrow damage, Jim? Mm. No, I'm fine. Alright. Alright, got a wall up ahead. Kevin pitting up ahead, using that Wendy's truck. I'm starting to lose my right rear a little bit, but I'm fine. No aero damage, no issues. Okay, hopefully we had a good stop. I felt like I yeah, I'm was a little bit faster than last time, at least. On 62, I'm staying down low. Yeah, I've had a couple of runs out here, but I'm just... I figure just hang out and see where the car is This thing's dangerous. Go ahead, Kyle. The car outside. Still there. Go ahead. Clear up the two seconds behind us. You're in the top ten. Okay, Colton. That sucked. You got loose at just the wrong time. That's all right. I was just trying to be patient, make sure I didn't put us in a dangerous situation. No, I would have just given it to you. I won't pay any attention. All right. I think we might be the lucky dog. Okay, right back there. Hey, we're pretty good on fuel, I think. Pretty good amount. He probably put four tires on it, didn't he? Probably actually did want four. The car inside there. Stay high to the car on the low side. E9. Clear. That's this guy. We want to look at the car. Still there. Clear outside if you want. I heard it was blinking, so I'm like, ah, uh, I don't want to sit behind Colin. Car outside. Clear up, Colin. I didn't feel the three wide risk was necessary. He's obviously going to pass me regardless.
Staying high, staying high. Outside. Clear outside. I if I should have put more tape on it. He said that his uh, engine was getting pretty hot. And blinking at him, even. So, is that why he's faster? But is that gonna be a problem for him? Interesting to find out. Stay high, Devin. Man, only 96 is on the left side. I thought that was going to be fine. That is scary when you're trying to... Hold on to the car. Nick just no, removed the engine. He must not have been going high. I don't know. That's not good. Taking two. Right side down. Kelby, I'm going there. Daniel, you waiting for the last second. Man, I'm really trying to hold on to this thing. I feel like it wasn't a uh, two-tire call, though. I got like nine laps left. I think I'm going to run it today. Yeah, I'm going to wait. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to wait. Oof. Not been an easy time. Nick's on fresh tires, and he's not really pulling away from us. Sixth place. Now, God, good consistency. I was going to pick that up. I don't know if said that. Now, stand up. Yeah, they stayed it up somewhat quickly. I don't know why we got a lap car low up here. I guess we weren't going to reach it anyway. Sorry about that moment, Ryan. I uh, took two tires for some reason. Sorry about that tire. Yeah, I called him good save. I thought it was a two-tire call, but we had more uh, fuel to put in it, so it ended up not mattering much. Just keep hitting your mark. Last lap time was at 31.2. That's all right. We can hold on to it. We can get a P4. It's looking like. My truck can't handle those bumps anymore. <laughs> well, I, uh, I said I like loose race cars. It is fun to drive, but maybe not as fast. Well, maybe Nick will be able to catch us back there, 3.3. Still got 15 laps to go. He's got time to do it. <laughs> oh, God. Things evil. I think Nick maybe took two tires as well. 
Otherwise, he would be catching me. I feel uh, less dumb if he also thought it was going to be a good idea. A couple of the final guys that were hoping for cautions are going in, it sounds like. We have about three of them out still, I believe. It probably doesn't look so bad, but I'm really having to focus every corner. I have to run a little bit higher up the track so that way this thing doesn't loop on me. Hey, more of the uh, holdouts coming into the pits. Three point seven back there. That's the one who came in much later. They might catch me. In fact, I'm thinking they probably will. Because I was going to say, two tires freeze this thing up pretty good. <laughs> two tires work for him. Interesting. Unless I misheard that. Maybe it works out better for guys that have tighter setups, though, too. So my, my setup was already pretty loose. After the extra tape I put on there and stuff. Someone who has a tighter setup, maybe it works out better. Scott just now coming out. Should he have a penalty, maybe? He was doing really well, wasn't he? I don't know. Maybe something happened I don't remember. E4, though, looking good. Not very many laps left in this thing. I'll say hi. Just can't loop it. It's gonna keep trying to do it to me. Ooh, that 62's coming though. Pretty fast. Only about a second back. We got seven laps to go. He's gonna catch me. That lap was at the two point six. Okay, Colton. Lap times are pretty consistent. So top five though still would be pretty good. I just shot my box, so I just took fuel only, and the added weight in the back has made this a lot looser. It was not a good idea. You've got 10 minutes of fuel right. Keep high. Sure, I give him room. No reason Stay fighting high. him. No purpose. He's going 20 miles an hour faster, pretty much. Nick's still holding about 3.5, though. I can almost guarantee you he took two tires. If we're that close on pace.
Fun to drive, though. That is true. Five going by. Just done a, a Up on the end of this thing. The gap in front is increasing. It's now 1.5. And nearly spinning. Not a great job there. Oh, I gotta go too. There's a 20 back there who's passing Nick. Could be on his way to me. I gotta hold it together a little longer still. I mean, Nick are battling though, I think. They've got some uh, action to wrap this one up, it sounds like. Damn it, Looks like, I, I guess. On that pit stop. I would've had something for you. One flag, one more left to go. I, I saw it leave the road and I kind of shot through the box, I was tying something, and shot through the box in the craft, and then I didn't know if we were going to be able to one catch the uh, 36, I don't know. I'm out of fuel, I can't believe I did that. Uh, out of fuel, that sucks. Really good race, though, a good win. I, uh, fuck, I wanted it so bad, though. Usually strategy never damn pays off when we first hit the boat. Still good, but sharing that. Okay, good win, Kate. Thanks for pulling me into 14. <laughs> good race, good win. Oh, you me. We did it, P5. All right, another top five. Cabe might have overtaken me on points, though. He had, I think, pretty much a perfect day. Yeah, Dylan, you were catching me. <laughs> Colton, did you take two tires again? Yeah, I thought it was going to be okay. <laughs> yeah, I took four, and Brandon took two, and yeah, I just, I was able to pull away. Four was better. That's why I will buy you. Oh crap, I just took Colton and Brandon. I think holding the fuel stayed out longer until like the end of that fuel run. They took two, you probably been all right. That's what I was thinking about doing. I had a feeling Nick was on two as well. <laughs> he was like about the same pace as me. Hey, good race, though, guys. That was fun. Hey, good win, kid. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I mean, I don't want to shit on the guy, but I really did laugh when I saw the Landon was removed from the server message pop up. It just made me laugh. <laughs> At least I'm not the only one, like I said. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I saw Nick's message, and I even said some, something about going high, and he just stayed low, 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 low. Low, low, low. All yeah, right, I didn't though. Nothing until before the, or until you said that. But like, um, okay, crap. And then I saw I did it again. I'm like, um. Uh -huh. So P5, Cave gets the win, Nick, go by right me. behind us. By me and I was just like, I'm, I'm latching onto his ass for the rest of this race, and that was it. Yeah, I know. I was, I'm like, you're better on tires. I know that you're on like 10 lap pressure tires, so I'm like, he's just going to go by me. I'll stay behind him and hopefully I can pull away from Alex. And then Alex started catching at one point. I'm like, oh, boy. Is that back to back? Yep. Yep, lucky who it is. They told him, but got it tonight. Good one, bud. Good one. Hey, Hester, how you feeling? Uh, it's a little sore. Ooh, we're right. supposed to get loose on lap one, overcorrects into the wall. Right, good to hear, man. Someone uh, got horrible damage uh, right there. Get better. Keep racing with us. 63. Ooh. That's the goal, huh? 
That's really unfortunate. Nothing he could do with that. Yeah, good night, everyone. Fun race. Oh, man, what just happened? Go around, everybody. That was awesome. Oh, did he, he get damage? Did he mess up a shift? Because he blew his engine right there. What happened? I didn't think he was in it. Got loose, though. I just, I don't see any damage. And then I guess he just accidentally shifts into reverse or something and blows the engine. That was strange. Not sure what happened there. Huh. Got some blinking. Yeah, I saw that. That was weird. I think Chuck said he got in the wall or something. Or was trying to stay out of the wall. Yeah, that was kind of weird. Twenty-five, just scratching the wall a tiny bit. Oh, and then he's too far off the wall. They figured out a whole bunch of times because you guys are shooting behind me. I overshot my pit and did decided to take the old. Tiny hit so far. I'm getting a little unsettled on the straight. That was kind of weird. Not sure what we'd call is that. My race lap overlay was way off on fuel. This cave blinking thankfully didn't blink out. Nothing here, I don't think. A lot of nothing. Not sure what that's about. Man, I'm tired. That was a pretty uh, exhausting race. These long full length deals take a lot out of you. Right along. Come on now. Show us something interesting. Keep going until we uh, see someone side by side, maybe. That setup did not work for Landon, I don't think. Oh, yeah, here's your next incident. Ooh. I thought they had it saved. And that's why I thought there was not going to be a caution. So, yeah, the. He gets up right behind him, gets an arrow loose. He's trying to hold on to it. Got the wheel moving back and forth. Chuck's not able to get it slowed down. Then he gets rear-ended pretty good there. Oh man, I didn't realize he had such a rough time. It just kind of comes up in front there, and then Scott comes and gets him. That must have been causing him problems. That's why we didn't see him up front anymore. Finally, caution comes out, I guess. But before then, it looked like everybody was heading in the right direction, so I just I had to keep going. Thankfully, I was able to avoid anything. Anything and everything. There's some blinking. Wall hits. That was net code. Aw, oh, that sucks. Kyle's pinching him a little bit. I mean, not even really. Just a tiny bit. And then the uh, 18's off the wall. A little bit. It's just a case of two guys a little bit off. A little bit close to each other. And then net code. Like, they, they wouldn't have even hit, I don't think. That's not good. Net code, that's bad net code. Bad net code. Go to your room. That's uh, unfortunate. 
Oh man, we got some people caught in it too. Darn. I would say that's no one's fault though. It didn't need to happen. I'm trying to skip past some of this blinking. Hmm, what happened here? Uh... Hmm... That's a tough one. I mean, it kind of looks like Landon decided he was going to take the middle line. And so the 38s take his bottom line and then... He's just not clear anymore, and he keeps coming down. I would probably put that more on Landon, but that's kind of unfortunate. Nothing egregious there by anybody. I don't think Landon's trying to block there. Just kind of comes down, and, you know, you can see where they hit. Like, he was not clear, and yet he came down. So if I was going to have to put blame on anybody, it would be Landon, but... Oh, that takes some guys out for sure, too. But it wasn't terrible by any means. Just two different lines, maybe. Probably never necessary for Landon to ever cut it that close, though. I mean, assuming he figured that he was clear, that's cutting it really, really close. And I don't know if that was ever necessary to risk that. For some reason, 25's way off the wall, and he gets himself turned. Like, that's that's a way off the wall. He's a whole lane and a half down. And he's got someone below him, too, and he's just continuing to drift down further, you can see. So, I mean, he just kind of comes down into the 90, and that's going to end the 90s day, too. Probably. That's some pretty bad damage. And a couple more. Oh, that sucks. Very bad luck for some guys. F82. Mm, 61. Kind of comes up and gets Kevin, though. Kevin's most pretty much up there. 61's cutting it really close. And it even looks like we had a little bit of an echo there, but I, th I think this one's more the 61 pinching him a little bit too much. Looks like they're okay. Three wide. Man, Lance is having a really tough time holding the lines tonight. When you're three wide, you gotta really keep it on that white line. And then he comes up about half a lane, and that's enough to get into the uh, 07. Kyle is always in the wrong place, isn't he? Always right around it all. I don't even think that was a caution. Yeah, no. And then going low. I think this was before Nick started asking everybody to do so, though. I agree, like, every all the lap cars should have been up high. But I don't know, like, what was going on. Ooh, too much breaks sends it around for 25. Lap 28, really close to the end of this thing. Really close racing. Actually, yeah, Shane's a... Shane's a lap down. So it's kind of weird that he's fighting the two or the P2 guy that hard. Is he on fresher tires, maybe? Probably. So that's kind of an awkward situation.
I'm not seeing much here. Moving right along, and that was it. So there's your race. I'm pretty happy with that. We got ourselves another top five. Um, we've gone so far. Uh, stage one in Daytona, P3. Stage two, three. F uh, finish of Daytona, three. Stage one in this one, three. Stage two, four. And then the finish, five. I hope that doesn't just start going down. <laughs> Then I get 6th, 7th, 8th, and then... I mean, those are decent finishes for a while, but eventually I'm going to be wanting to not finish 15th. You know? And then get worse every time, but... For now, p 5 is just fine. Very happy with that. Cade's going to be uh, tough to beat this season, though. He's proven that already. Um, great runs by a couple of guys. Glad Ryan made it to the end again. Or, you know, for the first time, because last time he didn't. And, uh... That's going to do it for us in this one. Uh, we keep it 0x, get ourselves a top five, get some good stage points. I don't know if Nick will have the stage points added yet, but we'll give it a look. Not sure if we'll even be able to tell um, if he has added them or not. But um, before he adds them, we'll see what uh, the points are looking like. Uh, in terms of what they've given out. Hey, we had fastest lap. It means nothing, but that's cool. <laughs> no uh, fastest lap points given out. Or uh, is it? Was it lead a lap? No, I don't think so. I don't think you get any points anymore. Um, yeah, so 32. We'll get our stage points later added on. We'll see what it's looking like, see if it's uh, added or not. I pressed the wrong thing, didn't I? Oh, no, I didn't. A5 championship. Pardon the wait. All right. That is still accurate uh, as of... I don't think the bonus points are in yet. So no bonus points are in yet, I don't think. Or are they? I can't tell. Sorry, I can't tell uh, right now, but um, our finish is looking good right there. Right, still going to be right near the top, looks like, so that's going to be good. But uh, that's going to do it for this one. Um, I'll uh, update the points are something later. But I appreciate you for being here. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that one. Next time, we will be going to Atlanta for, unfortunately, some more super speedway racing. But that will not be next week, next week but the week after that. And uh, hopefully we'll have ourselves another good run. For now, I'll see you next time. Have a good one.